Hi, it's Victoria here from Fierce Fatty and in this video we are talking about the one type of fat that you might need to cut. Before we get started with this video, make sure that you check out the links below because I have a workbook that goes along with this video. It's called the Fat Cutting Workbook. You can find it below. And if you like this video, make sure that you give me some love, give me a thumbs up, share it, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, okay, I haven't lost my mind. I've not turned into some diet schlepping monster. There is one type of fat that you need to cut. And that fat is F, false, A, assumed, T, truths false assumed truths and so the false assumed truths that i'm talking about in this video are the false assumed truths that keep you stuck when it comes to feeling confident in your body or feeling comfortable around food and these false assumed truths stop you from taking action in life and we don't want that we don't want these false assumed truths so let's dig in and see what i mean when i'm talking about false assumed truths Okay, a big one that I hear people say is, I'm worried about getting fat or fatter. Oh, if I stop dieting or if I start intuitive eating or if I work on loving myself, I'm just gonna get really, really fat and then, you know, I'll die or whatever. So what is a truth? Before I answer this, a truth is something that is 100% true 100% of the time, all right? 100% true. 100% of the time. So here is a false assumed truth. I am a bad person or I am a good person. I am good and bad, right? I'm a human being. I am not 100% good or 100% bad. Okay, so that is not a truth. It is belief. So if I believe I'm a bad person or I'm unattractive or I'm unworthy, it's a false assumed truth. It's something that we can change because it's a belief. So the fear of getting fat or fatter is a fear that is based in fat phobia. It's a belief that means that your body is this monster that unless you control and you know eat certain things at certain times and do certain things, it's just gonna go wild and do something horrifying. So it's fat phobic. What's wrong with being fat or fatter? Do you want to hold that belief that there's something wrong in being fatter? Even if it's your body, you might say, well, other people, it's okay for them to be fat, but not me. It's still fat phobia. So this belief buys into the false idea that you can control your body. And so the moment that you stop trying to do things, then it's going to go out of control. You never have control anyway. Your body is doing its own thing. So this belief puts other people's fat phobic opinions that you might be worried about above your own mental health. Does that serve you? No, get rid of that false assumed truth. Kick that shit to the curb. The next big false assumed truth that I hear all the time is, if I stop dieting, I will get fatter or fat. And then because of that, I'm going to be unhealthy. So this belief is based in healthism and healthism is the individual is responsible for maintaining their body which is a machine and those bodies that are healthy more valuable than bodies that are unhealthy this belief presumes that you have control over your health it presumes that food and exercise are the only contributing factors towards health when in reality they're less than 10 percent of what makes up someone uh, someone's health and what is health anyway? It's a made up construct by society. You're, it's not an on and off, it's not binary. You're not either healthy or unhealthy. This also rejects the idea that uh, mental health is just as important as physical health, if, if not more so. It presumes that being fatter, you're not capable of being healthy. It helps you and other people continue judging other people's bodies on how healthy or unhealthy they are. We don't wanna be doing that, do we? No, of course not. So kick that F-A-T, false assumed truth, to the curb. 
So let's cut all of the false assumed truths that are keeping you stuck. And they are just two main ones I hear, but there are so many things like, I can't do it, I'm too busy, uh, I'm not the type of person who can love myself, I've been hating on myself for years, like all things like that. Like, is that true? Is that 100% true 100% of the time? Or is that a belief? And if it's a belief, it means you can change that belief. So go below and check out the Fat Cutting Workbook where we're gonna go deep diving into your false assumed truths and change them. If you like this video, make sure that you give me a thumbs up, leave a comment. If you're on my YouTube channel, subscribe. And why not share it with all your fatties who need to hear this message. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.